hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video i will solve problem required length from education round 129 uh, so let's get started so let's define the problem first so we have been given two integers in the problem we have been given two integers one integer is n and the second integer is x uh, constraints of n are from 2 to 19 and we have been given an operation as well we have been given an operation as well in one operation we can take x and we can multiply x with any of its digits so, so we can change x into x is equal to x into any of its digits Uh, so for example if we have number 1 2 3 4 we can change it to 1 2 3 4 into 4 1 2 3 4 into 3 or 1 2 3 4 into 2 or 1 2 3 4 into 1 so something like this uh, we have to do these operations some number of times and we have to make length of x equal to n so we have to do this operation minimum number of times such that length of x becomes equal to n so obviously you can like kind of see bfs here because you can say th this is your parent node this is your parent node and these are your children's so you can easily see like after applying an operation you can uh, kind of do bfs for every number in x you can kind of uh, uh, do bfs on that so what i mean to say is uh, let's try to do bfs on this let's try to do bfs on this so if my number is one two three four it will have four children one is one two three four into four one two three four into three 1 2 3 4 into 2 1 2 3 4 into 1 this is your level 0 this is your level 1 but level 1 means is level i means minimum number of operations required to reach this level so we are basically using bfs required to reach this level and similarly uh, we can do this for level 2 like for example if this is 1 2 3 4 into 2 it will become 2 4 6 8 so it will also have four nodes one is uh, 1 2 3 4 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 into 2 into 4 1 2 3 4 into 2 into 6 1 2 3 4 into 2 into 8 but obviously we we already have 1 2 3 4 into 4 here we have already visited this is 1 2 3 4 into 4 and we already have 1 2 3 4 into 4 here so we will ignore this node because we have all we have already found this node so we will do bfs like this and uh, when we reach a number or a node where the length of x is equal to n we will stop and joska level over that will be our answer so that is basically the solution for this problem now a very a big question here is uh, why won't we TLE here why won't we TLE here because if I have a number x then it can have eight possible children it can have eight possible children one is two in three four five six seven eight and nine it can have eight possible children I am not considering 0 and 1 here because it is never useful to multiply with 0 and 1. So we can ignore 0 and 1. So if I if I have a number x, it can have possibly it can possibly have 8 children. So uh, if I have a level 1, if I have level uh, if I have level, level 0, if my level 0 has 1 children, my level 1 can have 8 children, my level 2 will have 8 square children my level 3 will have 8 cube and you can see the number of children are or the number of nodes are in, are increasing exponentially so why won't we tle here so we need some kind of proof that the number of nodes here are very limited uh, so we will never tle so how can we show this it's very easy 
to sh uh, to show this uh, you can consider the prime factorization of these numbers so for example if i have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, this is 2 this is 3 this is 2 into 2 or you can say 2 square and this is 5 this is 2 into 3 this is 7 and this is uh, 2 cube so if you have a number x you are always uh, the the end number the end number will be something of this form the end number will be a form uh, 2 the power a 3 the power b 5 the power c 7 the power d into x that is your final number let's call this x dash so it will be of something like this and as you can see uh, and uh, n is uh, from 2 to 19 so uh, x dash is also less than equal to 10 the power 19 and if x dash is le less than 10 the power 19 the, then the value of a b c d then the value of a b c d will be less than equal to 60 uh, because 2 the power 60 is around 10 the power 19 and we know our x dash is uh, and we know our x dash is less than 10 the power 19 so if we have 2 the power a here then a b c d all must be less than equal to 60 right because 2 the power 60 is around 10 the power 19 uh, so the, the number of various combinations that we can have here is so we have so we have any number is of form 2 the power a 3 the power b 5 the power c 7 the power d and a b c d have 60 possible values so total possible combinations total possible combinations is around 60 into 60 into 60 into 60 and that is around 10 the power 7 so we have around 10 the power 7 different numbers that we can have uh, and then 10 the power 7 is a valid number so we can kind of run a bfs on this 10 the power 7 is okay to run bfs on so now we have proved that uh, the number of our nodes that the, the number of our nodes is not exponential number of nodes is not exponential it is around 10 the power 7 and 10 the power 7 is very valid so we can run a bfs on that so that will be a solution so if you want to write steps on this there is no steps steps is just run a bfs on every node and that is your solution for the problem so if you want to see my code for this uh, here it is uh, what is ops ops is the level of node in my bfs right uh, because uh, i cannot uh, keep a vector because the number will be very large around 10 the power 18 10 the power 19 so i'm keeping a map to count the level at which my node is right uh, and initially my queue has x and i will pop my top element and i will check if it has n uh, if the length of the, the, this number is already n then it is my answer so jo uska level hoga that will be my answer otherwise uh, for that node uski har ek digit ke liye i will do a bfs on that node so it is normal bfs so uh, i don't think you need to see the code so that will be the solution uh, also another important thing here is i do not recommend to prove this thing i do not recommend to prove this thing during the contest you don't need to uh, you can like just kind of run a brute force and you can check if that works so do, during the contest i would i would recommend for you to use a brute force uh, because like you kind of get an intuition here Ki jo number of nodes hai, they are all multiples of x so they will start repeating very quickly so you don't need to like uh, go all mathematical during the contest you can just try to submit a brute force and if the brute force like calm nahi kata brute force then you can try to like go into the mathematical side and stuff like that so that will be my hint hint or tip for these kind of problems and if you guys still have a doubt do let, let me know in the comments and i will try to help you out uh, yeah that is it for this video see you in the next one
Also, if you guys don't know, Continuing Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long, and it is totally based on pay after placement model, and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees, and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees five lakhs, and the average package is rupees seven lakhs, and the highest package is over rupees twenty six lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies, and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that yeah, I'm not coding, I'm not coding, I'm not fresher, I'm not coding. I'm not coding. The course is over six months long, and they will teach you from scratch. so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah you know, be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye